I need to ask you guys, have you guys ever had a relationship with somebody that you guys have worked with? Have you ever? <laughs> I can't answer that question. I gotta leave it to you guys, but leave it in the comment section because uh, that is pretty spicy. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, sneaking off into little rooms and like, yeah, can you help me in the facts room? I'm just imagining, you know, this has never happened to me, but I've seen a lot of movies, you know. I've seen a lot of American movies and in those American movies that's what happens, okay? So don't 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 fire me. So we're recording on both, right? Uh, okay. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna break down what is happening at the workplace. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video and do not forget to like, comment, and share. Because it helps us out in the algorithm, you know, all that jazz. Three videos a day keeps poverty away. Women are flipping out at men, avoiding them at work. So I used to work with all men and people would always be like, oh, you must get hit on all the time if you work with all men. Okay. But what I had to explain was that actually in settings where it's like 70% men, 30% women, the women get hit on all the time. But in this case, I was literally the only woman on a 20 person team. And in those cases, the men just act like there are no women there and they ignore you. Yeah, but that's a good thing because you're there to work. You're not there to flirt. It's your work. <laughs> what does this woman expect from the men which she works with, right? This is what you should expect at a workplace. You're going there to make money, not to flirt, not to get hit on. This is not going to club live out in America. You know, you're going to work. It doesn't really matter if you're a woman or a man. You shouldn't go to work to try to hit on your colleagues, right? I mean, there's so many sexual harassment lawsuits which people constantly are making because they feel uncomfortable at work. And imagine what, going to work and then somebody hitting on you and then you're like, ah, uh, I feel uncomfortable, there's only men there. It's like, men are giving you the respect that you want. I don't understand, what is the problem? At least that's what I told myself. Men are just better off avoiding women in the workplace in today's society. If you can't, then limit uh, any interaction with them. Better to be called sexist mm. than rapist. Interaction limited to only- I agree 100% with that. You need to focus at work. You're not there to flirt with her. You're not there to write her a note. Or you're not there to, you're not there to smack, you're not, you're not, you're not there to smack her ass. That's not what you're doing at work. You're there to observe, sit, look, look at the computer, press, you know, the buttons, go like, yeah, pretend to work. Better you're called a sexist than the other word, because if you're called the other word, your career could be done. Professional discussion about work and nothing else is a surefire way of avoiding that you say something mm. that can be taken out of context. 100%. And land you jobless. Any meetings where there is one man and a woman should be recorded with both audio <laughs> and visual. If that's not possible, then a third person should be present. Never be alone with a woman in the office. If you find that you Ooh. are, then you make the effort and move somewhere else if you can. Otherwise, put up a do not disturb sign. Okay. I need to ask you guys, have you guys ever had a relationship with somebody that you guys have worked with? Have you ever? <laughs> I can't answer that question. I gotta leave it to you guys, but leave it in the comment section because uh, that is pretty spicy. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, sneaking off into little rooms and like, yeah, can you help me in the facts room? Cause I gotta, print some papers and you know you guys are doing it in the fax room oh my i i'm just imagining you know this has never happened to me but i've seen a lot of movies you know i've seen a lot of american movies and in those american movies that's what happens okay so don't 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 fire me don't, don't fire me i'm just i'm just i'm just a guy that watches a lot of movies if possible Keep all communication to mm. recorded channels such as email. It's to protect you from a false allegation. Damn. Now, there are those who will say you shouldn't be an asshole, or that false allegations are rare, or even it's only people who would behave like that who feel the need to protect themselves. 
Each argument is a straw man, meant to shame us into placing ourselves willingly into the fire. Don't fall for it. Think of the two guys at a conference who made a joke that had nothing to do with women and nothing to do with the woman who actually made the complaint. And they both lost their jobs. It doesn't only have to do with workplaces. It has to do with YouTube as well. I mean, if you make too many jokes about women on this platform, your channel is gone. That's why I just got to preface. I'm a comedian. I like making jokes about everybody, fat people, thin people, black people, a Arabs, Pakistanis or Pac-Mans. Like everybody gets it from me. I'm not just singling out women, but I do think it's very interesting from just like a a worker's perspective <laughs> that I react to videos like this. It has nothing to do with women. It's not women hate. It's just watching, watching something that another person created. Okay, so I'm not part of any gang. I'm just a lone wolf which is trying to survive out in these streets. But I do think it's very interesting that channels can get like demonetized, deleted just because people do not like you. I mean, think of the man that we cannot name. If women got to choose, if they got to choose whatever they wanted to do with him, that man would be hung. And he rhymes with bait. <laughs> I was sitting once and I was having a conversation with a girl and um, or it could have been a guy now that I think of it I don't know now I'm kidding it is a it is a woman but um, so we're sitting and having a conversation and she talks about this man right and I say hey I kind of agree with what 50% of what he says and the rest of the 50 I do not agree and you should have seen her face. She was like, you agree with 50% of, I can't say his name because my video is gonna get demonetized, but you know, you know the man. And uh, yeah, she was pissed. She said, that is like agreeing with what the other guy, which a lot of Jewish people, you know, the, I can say his name also because my channel might get demonetized. So those two guys, right? She was comparing that guy, the guy which talks about women and drives a Bugatti to the other guy, which a lot of, or which you can't even say certain words anymore, which a lot of Jewish people. So that was crazy. And I said to her, I was like, but he has never, to my knowledge, anybody. And she was like, well, it's the same thing. He's, he's spewing a lot of rhetoric. Ah, let's cancel him. And I, I don't know, maybe she's one of the people which got him canceled. So that's pretty crazy. But anyway, I love everybody. What about the men who lost their jobs because of false allegations, as well as their homes and families? Is it okay to sacrifice innocent men? It's right that men do what they can to protect themselves. Personally, I refuse to mentor women, refuse to work with them. I won't be alone in a room with a woman, not because I would do something, but because I have no idea what she might do or say I did later. If a woman asks for help and there's nobody else around, I'll refuse. Besides, she's strong. Okay, wait. So if a woman is at the gym and she is bench pressing and she needs somebody to spot her, do you just do you just let the weights fall on her like come on it's a little extreme i gotta push back a little bit it's getting a little bit extreme i get it we're afraid of interacting with women because there's certain like there's some women which might come with some allegations that i totally understand so of course if you are bitten by a snake then you're always afraid of snakes oh my god i don't want to touch snakes but I mean, okay, the snake analogy is pretty... I mean, okay, if you're bitten by a snake which is venomous and there's a lot of snakes in the room, I'd probably still be afraid of snakes. So it's a fear response that we have in us to be afraid of things that can harm us. That I understand, but 
This is a little bit too much. I just gotta push back. It's a little bit too much. ...and independent anyway. I'll refuse because it forces me to be alone with her. Again, I know what I'll do, but not what she'll do. If there's a dinner or business meeting and it's myself and a woman, I'll make sure that the company stumps up for another person to be mm. there. If that's not going to happen, I'll reschedule the meeting to work time and hold it in the office True. where I can have a witness present. Yeah. Women are no longer seen as safe prospects to mentor. Safer for men to gather together and exclude women from after-hours socialization. Where a man would previously offer to assist a woman, he will now carefully consider the optics before doing anything. The typical outcome is that one woman must help another. Where a man previously might have engaged in idle... I think it just has to do with transparency, that's what I think. I honestly don't think that isolation is the key. I think we just need to be as transparent as we can. Maybe have cameras everywhere. Because if we have cameras, then we can, like somebody's constantly observing us, then we don't even have to have this conversation. Then we can just be ourselves. I think that's a better solution than what we're doing right now, because now there's a, a divide and I love women. I'm not gonna sit here and say like, I hate women or like, Women are the worst. No, my mom is amazing. You know, other people are amazing as well. You know, I'm not gonna say specific names, but I love women. So I'm just like, I think we have to come together, you know, and just try to figure this out because it's getting a little bit too, like you gotta sit over there and you can't sit with us and back on the bus and you know it's like it's it's a little bit it's it's I don't know it's like apartheid all over again the whites and the blacks but now it's the men and the females and other <laughs> I'm just kidding comedian remember I'm a I'm a comedian I'm joking huh? conversation or humor now he thinks twice before ever speaking Risk management is something most men excel at. Women are too risky a prospect to engage unless necessary. Nobody likes or supports those who sexually assault others. Some women are pigs. Some men are swine. Mm. However, Me Too is a gun handed out without training to women to be used against men. Men and women cannot compete and cannot fight directly in anything close to being a fair way. Men will always lose in the conflict. Why? Because the playing field favors women. If a man yells at a woman for doing something wrong, she tends to become emotional and starts crying. She then feels she is being harassed, not reprimanded. Any explanation is called mansplaining, not instruction as a man would see it. So if the man wins and the woman cries, then the man is seen as a bully. If the man does nothing, he is seen as a wimp without strength of character. Add in me too, where accusations are virtually all taken at face value. Guys, have you seen that clip of this guy at the airport with his girlfriend and his girlfriend is screaming at him and then the police comes and starts talking to the guy like, and he's like calm. He's just like, no, she's a little angry. This Like he's very, very calm. Like, flip it, flip. Like they wanted to arrest him and he was just like this, was just like, oh. No, she's, I, I think she's she's going through something. And he's like, ah, you, are, you know, I don't know if he cheated or he, he did something. He did something crazy. I think the police came like, hey, did you cheat? We're like clapping the flight attendants, little tight little booty. Men don't fight this way. They deal with conflict directly. This means me too is a back doorway to destroy the man. It is a loaded weapon. If a woman hates the man, wants a job promotion, wants attention, wants a pass from the scorn cheating would cause, wants to blackmail, or wants alimony, child support, or sympathy, all she has to do is claim sexual assault. No recourse can be made by the man against his accuser. Mm. Can be years later too. Any time a woman wants to destroy a man. In this environment, would any thinking man want to give a woman a weapon? Are you kidding? As the low-hanging fruit are plucked, movie stars, politicians, rich men, who do you think their next target will be? Let me give you a hint. Former allies who feel women just cannot act in this way. Maybe not now, but if the economy sours, you bet they will. 
I don't think there is any behavior that is worse than false accusations. It is even written in the Ten it Commandments. Is, it is, it is. Segregated workforce and body cams are in order. It is not men that change their behavior, but women. I truly don't understand the appeal of radical feminism. Don't women see any of the trajectories here? Do they really think falsely accusing men will make men more helpful and loving? No, it causes resentment, anger, suspicion, and fear. These are not qualities that you want to instill in 50% of the population. And fear leads to hate, because we hate what we fear. Unless women always tell the truth, which is ridiculous, especially when it comes to sexual assault, then maybe men will stop avoiding them at work. Most of the claims filed are lies, and most of the real ones aren't reported. Feminists and stupid men only admit the latter. Yeah. So the idea of just believe her means female superiority, apartheid, and the end of due process for men, and it only gets worse from there. Any man with a clue right now is supposed to be weary around women, working with women, hiring women, and being alone with women. And then they'll blame men for what the feminists have done. Feminism made women into weak victims who think they're empowered, made the men effeminate or ostracized, and also made men dumb or paranoid. And the paranoia is beyond justified. I get emails from men that say they were harassed by women. I'm also a victim. <coughs> men just don't go crying to the teacher every time someone looks at them crooked. Women aren't empowered. They are weak, delusional, subsidized, entitled, and selfish, thanks to feminism. <sighs> That's all for today on manhood. Okay, first of all, I'm not a part of any cult. <laughs> I'm just a guy which is making a reaction.